Um, doctor, another mm -hmm. patient. All patients of ours are. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Amazing. Another dynamite personality, as you can see, very active business owner, um, travels. How many grandchildren? Seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. Deadly, deadly. And then, uh, Peter, just in 10 seconds, if you can give me a history, what you had, how you came here, boom, 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 just 10 seconds. Um, <laughs> On the spot. I was born with poor vision uh, mm -hmm. in 1998 when LASIK became approved I jumped at the chance to have LASIK done mm -hmm. they had LASIK done I went from uh, negative 10 and a half negative 11 mm -hmm. to 2025 mm -hmm. um, lasted for about a year then I regressed went back had a second LASIK surgery done mm -hmm. um, 2025 never really got much better than that and uh, then after the next couple of years, it just regressed and I was back in contacts. Mm -hmm. and my optometrist has been telling me for years to come here and I didn't do it because I was afraid that I would do something that would prevent me ever being able to do something down the road. Mm -hmm. uh, and finally I said, I'm coming up here and I'm reading the 2020 line now. So again, not quite 10 seconds, but the best <laughs> I <do. laughs> but Doctor, again, doctor has seen many patients in Chicago, but what he told me, first of all, he was studying for his exam, and everything in his book was proved wrong by meeting patients here. Mm -hmm. Rupa, do you see the profile again? Impromptu, yeah. he gave you a history. Can anyone be more intelligent the way he explained? Mm -hmm. Two, demanding person in his zest of life. Mm -hmm. Three, unforgiving if there's a mistake. Four, he had LASIK ectasia. Mm -hmm. What is the worst complication of LASIK? Like, mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Yeah. So on top of that doctor, again yeah. with LASIK. Yeah. That's why he also gave you a little hint he could never see 2020. Mm -hmm. With the LASIK ectasia in a young person with a posterior polar cataract, what would you do? Um, we would do lensoplasty. Great. But my point is, mm -hmm. just like yeah. you met the other surgeon just now oh, who yeah. I operated on. Your aim? It should always be this vision. And what's the vision? Yeah, 2020. Peter, what's the vision? 2020. Have you heard anything else, Doc? No. So you're seeing every day and, you know, for doctor, we're doing it also for his colleagues up in Chicago so they can mm -hmm. see everyday patients here, Peter. And what's amazing to him that I get feedback is also patients are teaching. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing, Doc? Yeah. Now look at this story. Mm -hmm. We did a study, remember that study, we did a fun thing with patients last month, mm -hmm. all who flew from everywhere. We asked them, Peter, how many years did you wait to come here? <laughs> Not wait to see me, but to be skeptical for how many years uh, well, and the range? 2000 to 20 years. No, how long did you wait to come to me after you were yeah. told from your eye doctor? To 20 travel? years. Well, it was 20 years since my LASIK was done. No. Oh, 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 10. 10. 10. My God. I know. What was the average we found when you interviewed yeah. all the out-of-country patients? Like 8 to 10 years. But, was but what he, he said something that, that rang to me is... Well, I, when, when before I had, after I saw him, I had to go back and I had to have my corneas checked by a cornea specialist in Ocala before Dr. Glani would do anything. And he said to me, why are you doing this? Why are you taking the risk? Because mm -hmm. you can see, we can, with corrective lenses or glasses, you can see, why would you take the risk to do that? Mm -hmm. And Dr. Glani's answer is, why wouldn't you take the risk? You're 52 years old. I was 51 at the time. Why mm -hmm. would you not? You have... 30 years ahead of you, what are you waiting for? It's only going to get more dangerous and worse and more yeah. more chances. And, and that made more sense to me than why do it? Why not, why not do, it? do it? It made more sense. Mm. Great point he said, Rukar. What is the point he just taught you? Doctors usually take the easy way out by saying, you know, this is risky, come back next year. No. The patient is hobbling on, let's call it four legs, right? Bent mm -hmm. legs. Mm -hmm. You don't wait till it's broken. Yeah. The risk was yeah. all mine. Now I'm operating on a guy, and that was the retina guy he went to, not Conan, because you want to make sure retina is healthy, right? He's yeah, he's retina, out, sorry, right? Yeah. But the point being, again, of course, you're seeing how many people are watching for a mistake. Yeah. Yet we are delivering every time. And the biggest thing delivery is the patient. Mm -hmm. It's I, holistic. It's not just. It's not just about my eyes. It's about my quality of life. Yes. And mm -hmm. the relation, Peter. Yeah. Now you're seeing him, I know his wife, I know his parents, so it's, you have to. I'm not a magician, but you're producing results because you're invested in them. First five minutes I walked in the door was the most unbelievable experience I've ever gone through. It was his birthday. Oh, yeah. There was 12 people outside who brought a cake 
and Dom Perignon to sing him happy birthday. <laughs> that was my first five minutes oh, of walking in the door. I'm like, what? I told my wife, I said, if this is what people do, come see him, I'm in the right place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we yeah, joke about this. Just recently, we, we were dressed like Egyptians when the Egypt patient came, uh -huh. and the new patient came. <laughs> he was stunned. <laughs> he, he was referred from New York to come and see me, mm -hmm. and he walks in, and we all dressed in Egyptian guard because the patient brought the gifts. Remember, like, see, yeah. and then we had the gifts and everything. And the guy walked yeah. and he's like, <laughs> and then I walked and I said, "You still want me to be a doctor?" <laughs> he's the call kind of friend now. But of course, uh -huh. questions. Yeah. Come on, this is it. The world most difficult complication of LASIK, mm -hmm. again 2020, again see the dynamite patient, very, very, and if I had made a mistake, would anyone forgive me? No. So you have to fight for your patient's vision. Mm -hmm. There's no way out. That's how I like to teach. The doctor is responsible. Yeah. Don't keep yeah. wimping out. The poor man's ability no. to function in life is restricted. The, Why? The, di the difference, the, his ability is certainly a difference. Mm -hmm. But the difference between equal ability and superior results is the passion. Yeah. Well, and again, <laughs> time. Okay, uh, again, I'll interrupt because I know you like to ask about pain. No. <laughs> again, surgery was done in our suite. In our suite, yeah. Right, Peter? No drugs, no anesthesia. Drops. That's it. And music. And music. Okay. Again, ask about pain. Yeah, did you have any pain? <laughs> <laughs> he keeps asking. Peter, okay. very proud of you. Enjoy. Be amazing. <laughs> and then I'll see you back. Uh, six months. Okay. Right? Safe travels back. Mm -hmm.